<sighs> Welcome YouTube. This is Emperor Dion. Today's topic, I wanted to talk about the age pill and particularly a message to uh, inquels that are approaching the age of 30 or who have reached the age of 30. Like myself, I'm over the hump now. I'm over the hump. I'm past 30. I'm 31 now. Um, you know, there's something to be said for inquels in particular that have crossed or are approaching the age of 30. So th there's a couple questions you need to answer by this point. You need to answer, what are you going to do about your inquel situation? Are you going to just be content to ride it out for the rest of your days from here and never really address it and just kind of hide from it and just let it go as is right into the grave? Are you going to do that or are you going to do something to address it and solve it and no longer be an inquel? So your options are you either have to beta bucks, you either have to have found a way to, to get a girl through attraction. You have to like you, you you've probably done a lot of looks maxing by this point. You know, you've probably been in this community for enough time to know about looks maxing to have uh, realized your your physical potential at least during your prime. And one of the brutal things that you need to take into account too is the age pill because this is very related to the age pill um you know men's peak despite what red pillars will tell you a man's peak is not in your 40s 50s a man's peak is at the same time as a woman's peak so th this coat and, and this is like one more thing that kind of makes me mad about like the red pill because I initially came onto the red pill before the black pill. And back then they used to tell guys that their peak was in their 30s, 40s, 50s. But that's a, whole, that's a load of hogwash. No, like we, we like to talk all about the women hitting the wall and this and that. But it's like men hit the wall at the same time too. It just doesn't hurt us as fast as it does women. But your peak... Your, the, the real male peak is in your mid to late 20s. Okay, that's not much different from women. So, you know, be that as it may, you have to also ask the question that if you are an inquel, you've been an inquel during your prime, this is a major, this is a major um, issue. That, like, don't let anybody tell you it's not. This is a major, major issue if you've suffered in seldom during your prime. Because now it's like the, the most the, the most uh, potential you're ever going to have as a man happens during that time. And during that time, no woman at all wanted to suck your dick and wanted to gargle on your balls. You know, no woman wanted to gargle on my balls during my prime. Okay, so that really has to get you answering some questions like what I just said you have to answer what are you going to do about inquodum are you going to write this out for the rest of your life or are you going to have done something about it by now now what I personally did is that I spent all of my prime basically grinding away as a truck driver money maxing getting myself into, into an elevated position investments wise so now, so now I have a pretty solid foundation from which I can operate from and I'm going overseas and I'm getting married. So this is how I've answered it for myself. I addressed it, but I feel like, well, this video isn't for me. This, this video is for all of you out here and I'm asking all of you this question. So what are you going to do? Have you, have you come up with a solution for yourself? For being an incel have you answered for being an incel during your prime because that really is brutal you know that really is brutal like the, the best you're ever going to be and no woman wanted to gargle on your balls during that time that's brutal that's extremely brutal but see there's still things one can do to address this but it's going to take basically sacrificing your prime this is what I did. I sacrificed my prime time. I've still got a I've still got that left though. I'm not no fucking elderly like old guy yet. I'm still relative young. I've still got some of my youth left. So I'll be able to take advantage of it a little bit, but 
this is basically what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta sacrifice your prime basically. If you are an inkwell approaching the age of 30, you gotta sacrifice your prime. So that period between your mid 20s to late 20s to your third to the age of 30, that period right there, that window right there, you gotta sacrifice that. You gotta use that time instead of using like your your prime years to get girls. You gotta knuckle down you got to figure something out you got to throw something together you got to put together a plan if you haven't done that during that time well it's too late it's much much too late because you pass 30 and you haven't done this well i mean it, you could still you could still probably pull something out and, and get where you want to be but I, I wouldn't put money on it man you're going to struggle for something that's not worth the struggle that's what it's going to end up being you know like say for instance if you wanted to get a girl and get married well you're going to have to start considering single mothers at that age if you haven't done this you're going to have to settle for a single mother most likely um you know so what i really wanted to address in this video though is just the sheer fact that um as you get older, like, things start to fall apart. Not just physically, either, like... Because I've said, like, a man's looks isn't really determined by a whole lot of things you can control. It's mostly your bones, okay? And anything that affects your bones is what will determine the most effect on your looks. And looks isn't even the, the whole thing you should be worried about. But let's just keep it on looks for a little bit. Well... Aging, aging is actually one of those things that affects your bones, like I said. So as you age, like you will start to physically change. Your looks will start to change as you age. And that'll have, and, and that change would be a lot greater than any looks maxing other than surgery could do for you. So as you age, you start to lose whatever most likely would have happened like it doesn't happen for everybody but most likely what's going to happen is whatever advantage you did have looks wise or that's going to start to go away so you're not you're not only going to have the issue that you're an incel already despite being in your prime but you're going to lose whatever edge you did have and so you have to kind of rely you have to kind of move more and more into other advantages that you can leverage whether it be a skill or you build a business or you have money or something you better have something damn it because as you age like the, the age pill the the real consequence of the age pill is that it will start to take away whatever advantage your looks might have gave you and your looks can be quite huge but you know, there's certain milestones you were supposed to have done during key phases of your life, too. That's another thing. The age pill also takes away your ability to experience certain things at the time that you should have experienced them. So, like, what makes it doubly more tragic for an inkwell is that most likely you didn't get key developmental milestones at the age you were supposed to get them. So, this kind of compounds itself via the age pill the age pill takes the consequences of you missing those milestones and it compounds those so if you're like say for instance 30 like my age but oh you haven't you've never gotten a kiss from a girl or never had a girlfriend before well my friend like <clears throat> you're gonna be set back so so far by that stage because the age pill has started to compound that negative consequence See, it didn't matter so much when you were in your 20s that you haven't had a girlfriend. But if this continues into your 30s, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you kind of intuitively know what I'm getting at here. But, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to really get that in your 30s versus when you were in your 20s. You know, this is why it's really, really evil. I'm sure if you were a kid, you've had adults tell you back when you were a kid, like think back to when you were a kid. I'm sure you had adults tell you something like, 
oh, you will get it when you get older, or oh, things that happen for you when you get older. Well, th this is actually very, very evil for people to be like this with you because the age pill ain't nothing to play around with, you know? The age pill has mostly consequences coming for you. And as you get older and you age into your prime and then out of your prime, well, these key developmental milestones that you didn't get while you were younger, they're going to be forever lost to you. And you're not going to be able to develop into the next stage of life where you need to be at that current age. And so people that have told you, oh, it'll come when you're in your 30s, 40s. Oh, you need to focus on something else instead of this, which you're clearly like upset about. Like most guys were probably upset about not getting girls and not getting attention from girls. I'm here to tell you, you are correct to be upset about that. You are very correct to be upset about that because that is like the dude. Like, if there's any younger people watching me, especially, don't let anybody tell you this. If you're upset that you can't get girls, you are correct to be upset about that because that is the age where you should be getting a lot of that. That is the age where that developmental milestone of you getting a girl is going to have the most positive impact. Because if you wait till you're like my age before you start doing that, it's not going to hit the same. And it's going to be very janky and awkward. It's not going to, I mean, I can't really describe it entirely, but I'm telling you, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good if you're just experiencing certain things at my age. You know, thank God that I was able to experience a couple of these things before I got to this age. Thank God about that, you know, but... Never let anybody tell you that these things that you worry about are not important because the reason why you think about them is because your lizard brain knows that they're important. And they are. <clears throat> so, men don't really have an advantage when it comes to the age pill. We really don't. The only advantage that men do have it's that it happens to us slower than it does women. That's the only advantage. But we start, like, men and women decline at the same time. Men and women hit the wall at the same time. It's just men, men go down at a slower rate. You know, that's all, that's the only difference. And I'm extremely angry, like, at the red pill community for having lied to me about this. Because, like, the red pill is my first taste of the truth. But they gave a massive clearing lie about that. You know. But anyways. Guys. Definitely. Heed the age pill. The age pill. I'd say it's the most brutal of them all. Because. At the end of the day. You're aging out. You're getting older. Your time perception is speeding up. You know. It, like a, a year to you. Doesn't seem nearly as long. As it did when you were a kid. That's another brutal part of the age pill. And the literal truth of it is, is that you were getting older and you were moving closer to the day you die and you no longer exist. So mark my words, the age pill is the most brutal pill of them all. I don't care what else you want to talk about within this lexicon of information. The age pill is the most brutal of them all. And I've noticed that creators these days especially are starting to talk more and more about this. Because this is beginning to dawn on them. As creators themselves get older, like I've gotten older. A lot of people who make these kind of views have gotten older. And this is starting to dawn on them. And this is even something that, you know, normies, like older normies, like people past their 40s, 50s, 60s. This is something that all of them, despite being normies, would also tell you. The age pill is the most brutal pill. The age pill tells you that if you don't get key developmental milestones to evolve into a new phase of your life, that you're going to be forever behind and you're going to be stuck wanting to cling on to, a, to your youth and you're not going to cling on to your, your youth. Because 
Age takes no prisoners. Time takes no prisoners. So you better do whatever you can to get what it is, whatever it is you think you need to do while you're in your youth. If it's that you want to get into some pussy, you spend every expense to do that. It's not good to wait until you're my age before you start doing that. If you want to go start a business, go do it now. Make the steps towards it now. Even if you can't fully do it now, you can make the steps towards it. This is how I lived my, my prime. During my prime, I did all the things that I could do to set myself in a better position. That's what I spent my prime doing. So even though I didn't get to do like the, the relationship part of things in my prime, even though I didn't get the love and respect I wanted in my prime, I still didn't make, I still didn't let it go to waste. And that's, that's the best I could have hoped for. But I feel like many people in this community might have let their prime go by, or they might about to be letting their prime go by. And I'm, I'm gut checking you right now. I'm gut punching you right now to let you know, don't you dare let it go by. You will regret it. You will not get another chance. The age pill takes no prisoners. So if this is you, if you're currently in your prime, you're not really doing much with it. I, I implore you to, to, to change your ways. Definitely change your ways. And if you're aging towards your prime right now, this is what you're probably going to need to do. If you were an inquel, not in your prime yet, this is what you're going to need to spend your prime doing. You're going to need to spend your prime solving the incel issue, however way that you can do it. Because if you don't, well, I think you already know what I've said already. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short here. This has been Emperor Dion. I will see you guys later. Don't let the age pill sneak up on you. Because it certainly will. Anyways, talk later. Peace.